Hey, welcome to the channel. I'm glad to be with you, and I'm glad you're with me because you know this is the best part of my day when we get to talk football. So if you haven't subscribed, please hit the like, subscribe, and share button. We'd love to have you on the channel, especially in the comment section. We just don't do any cursing. Now, the college football rankings are a complete joke. I mean, you got to be like either in the media and have graduated from one of these schools to get into the top 10 or to get into the top four, you, you got to have a TV show or a podcast and, and these people are pushing the agenda for their schools and they're not just looking at it objectively. Sometimes, and I'm not even going to say sometimes, all the time, you have to have an objective point of view, especially when you're in the media or in the public and you can you know, pretty much, you know, push people in a certain direction is to think what you want them to believe. And it's not just all about you and where you come from and what school you went to. You know, you got these people on TV like Rich Eisen, and he is bleeding Michigan blue like you wouldn't believe, you know, and they start screaming Michigan all the time and look at him. They put him at number two in the polls and they have not played one ranked team all year, not one. None. Over half this schedule is gone. They haven't played one ranked team, and yet they rank number two. And you got other schools that are playing ranked teams like every other week or whatnot is going on. They are battling, playing big-time schools. And they can't crack the top ten, or if they do, they at 10, 9, or 8. Nowhere near the playoff. This biasness is out of control. I'm going to give you... My college football rankings again, from 10 to 1. Here we go. So at number 10, we're going to leave Penn State. Now, Penn State, they played Ohio State in a bar burner, and they played them in Columbus, and they gave them all they can handle. And Ohio State is no joke. They have everything. And to play a team on the road that closely, and lose it at the end. Hats off to them. They fall a little bit, but they stay at number 10. Number nine is going to be Oregon. Oregon had one decent win. That's it. And then their biggest game was against Washington, and Washington spanked them. With all that, we play for clicks, or we play for wins, and they play for clicks, and talk with your helmets, and he did all that big time talking, huff, puff, blow the house down, and they ain't done nothing since. So the best they get for me is number nine, although I really don't feel it's their top 10 team, but because so many of the top 25 teams win and then lose and play well and then play bad, it's hard to really determine outside of the top three schools in the country who really is legit. Because you don't know what you're going to get week in and week out. So then at number eight, we're going to have Alabama. Now, Alabama is showing their worth. They, that's why they're the big dogs. They play the best. Week in and week out, they don't duck, they don't hide. They keep them on the schedule. Regardless of what they look like, how they're building or growing as a program from week to week and year in and year out, they keep the heavyweights on the schedule. So Alabama's number eight in my book. At seven, I'm going to make it Oklahoma. Oklahoma's just up and down, wishy-washy, and they only have one win. And that one win was against a team that's up and down, wishy-washy again, which was Texas. This is it's no real powerhouses outside of the top three. The rest is all a crapshoot. Then you'll throw Texas in there at six. Now, I just said they wishy-washy. I ain't giving them no real hype. I'm going to move Washington down, and I'm going to move Florida State back. So Florida State is going to be number five this week. And they had a couple of decent wins. But again, too many cupcakes on the schedule, and they don't look super dominant. So that's where they're going to stay. I'm moving Washington into my top four. 
Now, they play consistent week in and week out. They haven't had a lot of big, big games on their schedule, but they win impressively. They win dominantly on offense and defense. Then when they got the one big challenge thrown at them, which was AKA Oregon, the big tough guys, they gave them a nice little slacking. Showed them what it's like to play somebody the same size as you, the same strength as you, the same speed as you. You're not so tough then. So Washington just pulled the curt on Oregon. That they they fake. Against big time schools, they're gonna fade. They just showed you that. So Washington gets a a leg up for me on that. They move into the top four. At number three, we're going to surprise you all. I'm making Utah the number three ranked team in the country. Yes, believe it. They are all that. They are beating everyone without their starting Heisman Trophy candidate quarterback in Cam Akers. He is on the sideline recovering from a knee injury that he suffered last year. And they are beating everyone. They're doing it convincingly. They're doing it on slow scoring defensive games. They're doing it with a ground and pound offense. They're doing it with a freshman quarterback named Barnes. They doing it with coaching. They got a player named Vaki, B-A-K-I. This is a difference maker. He's a playmaker. Yes. I'm giving Utah the number three slot in the polls. Number two does not exist in my polls. I told you that in the last rankings. I don't play that game because of the way it's going down. Georgia and Ohio State are tied for one. And that's simply because Georgia is undefeated and they're two-time national champs. But they don't impress me flat out and out as the best team. Ohio State is neck and neck with them in everything you might want. Coaching, quarterback, defense, offense, wide receivers, the kicking game, Went on a road, went at home, went a close battle, went a high scoring game, went a defensive game, went a ground and pound kind of game, open it up and throwing it. Ohio State is doing everything they need to do to show you that they're that they're him, so to speak. That him, that him, Monica. He's him. That's Ohio State right now. And I would actually make it Ohio State, Georgia. At number one. That's my top 10 ranking. And if you notice, there's no Michigan in there. Michigan has not played anyone or beat anyone even in the top 25. So although we know they got all the talent in the world, they got hardball and all this other stuff, till they play somebody, they're not getting in my top 10. I'm sick of Michigan. Michigan just sucks.